What's the little secret found in the latest releases of NX? Has to do with automation. Let's talk about that next. So for those of you that have been keeping track, uh, Siemens has moved to a more frequent release schedule for NX. And it's interesting, they've, they've come out with a lot of interesting capabilities uh, in that time since they kind of made this transition over. Uh, a lot of usability, a lot of productivity stuff, but there's a little, it's interesting, there's a hidden capability there that I think will turn into something much bigger over time. <clears throat> you saw the first hint of it when they released some automation capabilities around model-based definitions. So you were able to select some geometry and then automate the creation of PMI, product and manufacturing information. Uh, that was the first hint of it. And then the second hint of it dealt with what came out in this latest release, which is the creation of lattice geometry uh, within a component. You could select some geometry and it would fill a volume uh, with a lattice structure, you know, based on cells that you select and that type of thing. So those capabilities in and of themselves are both interesting, you know, independently. But what I find really intriguing is the technology that's driving that. So let's, let's explore that. So the technology that's driving both of these new capabilities and the potential for a whole lot more in the future looks and acts a whole lot like a workflow. So within NX, you can define these inputs and outputs. You can define, uh, basically you can build out a diagram of inputs and outputs things that feed one another that ultimately will create this output, this final output. And in the PMI one, I'm sorry, in the MBD one, you're, the output is PMI. It's automating the creation of PMI in your model. In the lattice example that we talked about, it is filling a volume with a lattice structure. Both of these tools, and you can even look at this within NX, you can, and you can actually create your own workflows uh, your own libraries, but you can define what these inputs are. And actually, what's also terribly interesting about this is that there is a library of these kind of operators uh, that take, accept an input and give you an output. So you can, you can create your own workflows. These aren't kind of static, delivered, out of the box, and there certainly are some out of the box capabilities, but they're not static in that you cannot change them. You can go in there and create your own, you can modify others, and you can kind of build out your own automation capabilities uh, within NX. Okay, so why is this a big deal? Um, <laughs> I see a lot of potential in this capability and in what it can turn to over time. So, Kind of the old school way of developing design automation was to, it was almost like a, a programming interface. You know, you would have parameters, you name them, you could create if then statements, all these, it, all these types of things and really interesting ways to automate the way that you could configure a model, the way you could create geometry, all that's kind of been there for a while. The issue, however, is that it was like a programming interface. You know, each CAD application has kind of had their own way of doing it over time. What this is looking more and more like is almost like a low code approach. So I don't know if this came over for Mendix or if it was influenced by Mendix. Uh, Siemens low code platform for kind of business applications. But this looks and feels a lot like well, a lot of modern kind of coding platforms are doing nowadays. Um, you see this all over the place, uh, all sorts of different areas, whether it's actual software code for control software, uh, business applications, and now you're seeing it within NX. So that is going to make it more accessible. You know, so that's one reason to be excited about this kind of advancement in the industry. 
However, I think there's more potential there. And when I look at this kind of automation capabilities, as well as the first steps of Siemens putting AI machine learning into NX, you know, where they're suggesting, hey, I think you're on this path of creating this kind of model. Is this the next operation that you want to take? Um, eventually, and especially eventually if they get some kind of voice assistant involved, those are kind of three components. Those are the three kind of pieces of the stool that you can stand on to get to something that's really automated and, and really interesting and you really get into a lot of engineering productivity boosts because the voice assistant can be uh, the user interface. You can have these automation tools that we just talked about a second ago as standard workflows to be adding things or creating things. And then the AI or machine learning to kind of be the responsive aspect of the application. So I know I'm, I'm looking off into the future here, but number one, this design automation capabilities that look like low code stuff, you know, that, that's exciting in and of itself. But in the future, you know, maybe not too far off in the future, this will look very different. And you know, you're looking at a whole new class of automation and productivity. So that's it. Uh, those are interesting capabilities. Check them out in the latest versions of NX. And that's it. Take care and talk soon.